Welcome, survivors, to the continuation of Teleglitch. We're entering... I mean, our run of Teleglitch. We're entering level 10 at last. I have no ammunition for me, this double rifle. I have no ammunition for this heavy machine gun. I mean, high-velocity machine gun. I do have some minigun mach... Uh, ammunition. Shotgun. A little bit of submachine gun, but not much. This nail gun, I should just drop it outright. Which I think I'm going to do. I have 10 grenades left. That laser gun is looking more and more tempting. And I am scared shitless out of uh, the update uh, for Teleglitch. Ooh, a storage cabinet. I am very much hoping that we can make something happen here. Ooh, well, that's very, very lucky right there. Got a nice minigun that is going to fill up, like, provide a ton of ammunition for the minigun that we already have, so that is great news. And let's very slowly creep forward. Already we see an enemy up there. Probably going to have to spend the ammunition I just grabbed. Actually, I can shotgun this guy. Yeah, that was a poor, poor shot. Really like the double shotgun, how it focuses at all the shots like that. Makes it a viable long-range weapon. Against people without a whole lot of armor, that is. Uh-oh. What? They're just going to take a ton of damage, aren't they? <laughs> that was probably unadvisable. Uh-oh. Well, we have very limited uh, space here to kill this guy. If he doesn't die, we are screwed. Luckily, what's that? Oh, the minigun that I just dropped. Yeah, I'm very much ready to switch the laser gun. We do have those Panzerfaust right there that I'll resort to in case of double squid. <laughs> But there's three of them. Please go down. <laughs> wow. I am now officially without resources other than the minigun. And the double shotgun, I guess that somewhat counts. But that's three squids that we have to take care of. In a row, my submachine gun is uh, completely depleted. We are screwed. <laughs> we found the laser gun, but I'm still going to try until I exhaust my every single resource. Here we have an absolutely terrible bifurcation. Got too close. Damn it. Well, depending on time. I really need to conserve my ammunition for the minigun, though, because... Shit. <laughs> what do I have to kill these guys? Nothing. Please die. Well, that used up the entire minigun area uh, thing. I will keep this taser. And will liberally use it against any humanoids or any kind of robots or anything that gets a little too close. Because I have no other resources here. And I am very much holding on to that possibility that I might get to the end without using the laser gun on the, in the slightest. And I didn't realize in the previous run that I think the choice of path that I took. That's the camera. I must have, uh, yeah, I must have been destroyed by all the random bullets. The choice of path that I took. There's an enemy behind there. Um, preventing me probably from getting a magnet and from getting that Tesla coil. So that was bad. That was unfortunate to say the least. Because <laughs> I was kind of counting on those to be the the one way that I can use some electricity with. Is that a okay? That's that's not a big deal. In fact, we're going to use the taser. Which doesn't really have that bad of a range, I just realized. So yeah, this is not a bad weapon. It's not the best weapon. Still not too shabby. 
And of course, you know, it's full of the ammunition that I'm not using uh, in the slightest for anything, so... Yeah, no complaining. Oh, having a little, little bit of an advantage here. Yes, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. Ammunition, please, oh yeah. I'm very much tempted to make a teleporter because it's awful. We're going to try and keep going without it. Do any health? I don't need health or armor yet because I have been using up all my resources so that I don't need it. So let's see what we picked up. Uh, double rifle ammunition, that is great. I think I saw some batteries as well, which doesn't help me much. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Well, let's move on. Onwards to adventure! And death. Ah. You know, now I kind of wish that I had crafted or I had stumbled upon the... What's it called? The magnetic shield. Hi! I wonder if the taser works pretty well against this thing. Huh! Man! I never knew that the taser had such uses. The thing is, it's it's rendered completely obsolete by find the laser gun, so that's why I've never even used it. That's a secret room right there. We're going to approach cautiously. Ooh, wait. I don't need currently, but I will very much remember that it's there. Because I am bound to require it before the day is over. Level 10, man. The atmosphere here is so much more haunting. Uh, some microchips that I'm not in the market for. I don't care about them. Some bigger, bigger explosives. I'm hoping to turn into something useful. I mean, the raw explosives are actually useful, but I might try to have something I can use at a distance, or maybe even a meat trap to use on the inevitable room full of zombies that I will come across, because I don't really have that many shotgun shells left. Ooh. Two enemies up back there. I'm kind of scrambling to find some loot before I face any more monsters. Possibly not the greatest idea of uh, leaving monsters on my back. They might be alerted by something. And then I have to deal with people at my front, people at my back, just like that orgy I was in. And I, I did not like it, I was not in a comfortable place, so I'll rather not repeat that experience. Loot, loot, loot. Oh yeah, extra explosives, hell yeah! Mm. Uh, that's so much junk. Oh, how what I wouldn't give for another tube. It would be so great to have another tube. So I can craft some power legs, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay, so we have some double rifle ammunition. We're going to use it. Wow, that door saved my ass right there. And now he's stuck. We have the opportunity to kill at a distance at our leisure, so... Holy crap, I shot him straight in the eye. I'm pretty sure that shooting the squids in the eye makes does a ton of damage. But I don't want to risk, risk it. This should be... Yeah. I mean, it's regrettable that I had to use one bullet for that, but I think it was okay. I mean, one bullet won't make a difference in the end. I hope. That will be a dire situation. Let's grab it. Okay, there's some go more goop over there. I'm glad that I very much know the sound that it makes because with this added darkness, it's so much harder to tell whether there's goop somewhere. Uh, I'm going to taste this guy and see what happens. Thing is, I don't know if the taser is any good against these guys, so I guess we're going to find out and or get murdered. Ah, ah, ah. Ow. Okay, I'll just stab you, how about that? Yeah, I lost a ton of health in that... <laughs> in that procedure there. So that was less than stellar performance. So we'll grab that now that I have a chance to carry it. I'm waiting to maybe get hurt a tiny, tiny bit more. 
So that way... What is that? So that way I can effectively use... What is it? Oh! I guess I'll taste the crap out of him. Wow, I thought for a moment I would get too close, but... Luckily my taser, it has more range than their taser. Alright, now there's storage coming. Totally worth getting back here. So happy I did. There's a microchip in there that I don't care about. Might as well check out this area. Could be a secret room. One time I found a secret room back there, so... Totally worth checking. Well, that's a microchip, not going to use it. I know I'm carrying the shotgun equipped, even though it's really useless for most of the monsters that I'm finding, because it's a pretty good weapon to hold enemies at bay. At bay. It will knock them back quite handily. Or at least it'll, it's something that makes me feel better when I'm running in a panic and I just have no resources whatsoever. Another microchip here that we don't care about. Uh, there was a whole bunch of plates back here. Which I'm going to at least carry one more off. I think there's three more there. Uh, four points of health is really not that important, is it? So let's consume that I carry a little bit more. Plates! And now we have a choice whether to face that or face that. There's enemies in both of them. So let's might as well check this one out that's closer. Awful, awful things behind this door. Oh, it's only these guys. This should be taste without trouble. Oh, yeah. And you know, Teleglitch. <coughs> Sorry about that. Telegus has changed so much in the course of one patch that I feel like taking a much more somber approach to this playthrough and just be super serious about it. Let's drop that. I don't know if I can craft anything with this nail box. Nail bomb? I don't think so. No nail ammo, nothing. I'm not going to craft anything. In fact, I don't think I need that nail box or anything other than to make can guns. But I would do want this med kit. So we're going to craft a stimulant. Possibly to my regret. And grab that. I really don't need two stimulants. So maybe I should take one right now. I wish there were a tube, though. Man. So bereft of tubes. I must have spent something, I think it was the thing that I just crafted. Freed up uh, inventory slot, so let's carry that plate with us. I will usually drop all my craftables at the beginning. But I think we're past the stage. I'm holding on to everything I have for a dear life. They're my safety blankets. I feel so under threat right now. It's so awful. Let's go this way. It's the only way we left to go. So let's find out what's behind the terrible door of doom. Actually one of the, the lesser threats in the game nowadays. Kind of sad that a super mutant with a machine gun is not that much of a threat compared to everything else. Okay, giving it a gray period. Maybe it wants to come back from the dead and haunt my dreams. But it doesn't want to. And that's a turret we're going to taste. And this is the pipe area, isn't it? Full of zombies. I have no real explosives to speak of. Maybe I can weave behind, uh, between them. No, there's no way. There's never a way. They are always full. <sighs> What's the best? What's the best way to deal with this? I think my best uh, choice here is to use up my shotgun and then switch to grenades. Maybe first grenades and then shotgun. First I'm going to take this stimulant because I think I need to run a little bit faster to escape from these people. Wow. They came out in force. <laughs> Where are the grenades? There they are. Maybe not the best choice. This is the one I took. Okay, time to use the shotgun now. I'm very much hoping for some canned meat. That is why 
I don't feel bad about killing all these people, but I don't know if that worked out, man. I did not see a single drop. Now they make a little bit of a sound when they drop. Not a single bit! Okay, there's one. For a moment I thought there was somebody... A guy with a gun running with the zombies. But nah, that was my... Overeager imagination. There's still more of these guys! There we go. Ah... What to drop to carry this? Drop this plate. It's only because I want to consume it. I probably I should not have done that. Should not have done that. I'm going to carry the empty can. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that because I didn't realize how low on health I was. I can't believe they only dropped one can meat. I was very much counting on that, at least to make some kind of explosive something to help me out. But nope, the glitch is not working my way today. It has been very bad with drops, I have to say. I've had runs where I get tasers and every other robot. What's this? Okay. Not today. It's been a real pain in my butt. And now... I guess I'm carrying the taser on. <laughs> I'm out of resources. I'm going pretty close. Ugh. So, one of these guys. We need to slow it down with this. I have no... Okay, I, I do have some of these. Ah, oh, damn it. To be able to deal with this guy, I need to actually hit him. Hit it is a requisite. Of surviving the giant robot. I failed to meet that requisite and now I'm going to die. <laughs> At least we got another taser. The game really, really wants me to use that um, thing in my bummer. What's it called? I can't believe that took half my health, that dude. Uh, well, I can believe it, but I am regretting very much that that was the case. And I really, I really need to conserve this minigun. There's no way I can beat the final boss without that minigun because I have no other resources. Wow. A turret and the pipe. I think I can just ignore that turret. Just move on. Unless there's a secret room back there, but I don't think there is. Wow, I can see me. From so far away. What a jackass. Who are you? Another one of you guys. Well, oh, that worked. Wow. <laughs> oh man. I'm so gonna die at the final boss. Let's go back to get that other plate. I don't feel confident with the final boss because I normally go through several medkits medkit 50s and I have only a medkit 25 to face the final boss there is a secret room though in this level with a whole bunch a whole bunch of medkits at least that I remember it might also contain a teleporter I'm not entirely certain but uh, one way or another it has some health that I very much need right now <laughs> I actually managed to hit him in the face hit me in the back in the neck. And this is a high security area that we had not found yet. Wow. There's bound to be turrets here. There's one. Hopefully no squids because we have dealt with a ton of them already. Wouldn't be surprised if there were squids, but hopefully there's not. I'm not seeing... That turret that just fired at me. Oh, there it is. Ah, which way is it facing? Okay. Yeah, I can run from here. Still got hit quite a few times. Uh, let's use this map kit. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Ooh, a plate. 
And what else? Nothing? Just a plate just laying there. Find it hard to believe. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Moving on. This high security area, heavy security zone, it is uh, suspiciously unsecured. The AI is slacking. It has thrown everything else at me earlier and has nothing else to throw at my face, I suppose. It must be that extra randomization of enemies and locations. Uh, by the way, I, I made a mistake the other day in the, in the previous run. Here's the final boss. There's nothing I can do to prepare better. There is one more secret area that I have not found. I'm I am very much in need of the secret area, so let's look closely at every single wall. And hopefully I can find it because otherwise I'm simply screwed. I have one teleporter and zero health. There it is. We found it. We found it. It's not even that far, really. But let's go back. And let's very much hope there's some health in there because otherwise we're screwed. I don't really have the resources to kill the thing either because we're out of shotgun shells. Imagine that. I have, don't think I've ever reached the final boss without shotgun shells, but there you have it. It has finally happened. I am pretty close to where there is. Pretty close to that secret area. So all we have is two loads of explosives, maybe three full loads of, I mean, two and a half full uh, loads of the minigun, six grenades, and then the laser gun, which I don't even know. Let's test it. Uh, this is just a test. This is totally viable. I'm not using it against enemies. I need to see if it breaks blocks. I'm not sure if it does. Yeah, it does, so it should kill the final boss. I don't want another teleporter. I want to hold on to this health. Uh, it's just microchips. Wow. It is, it is a, just a means to grab another teleporter, so... Okay, we're screwed. Let's hope if you can any of these things, so I'm just shedding every, all my additional weight as I go. Unfortunately, we have no shotgun shells, we have no ammunition for that, we have no double rifle ammunition, which I never really use in that fight. No submachine gun that I was really hoping to use a little bit, at least. Ignoring that freaking turret. The taser is also worthless against the final boss. So we have six grenades, a minigun, and the laser gun that I'm going to have to resort to in the end. Very much doubt that the minigun will be enough to kill the final boss, but I'm going to try. Of course, going to try my best. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, at least we have some good armor to craft. Get all this junk away from that. We're going to take the stimulant and just hope for the best, really. We really have explored the entirety of the level, right? There was only... I think there was some explosives in one of those uh, containers. I could be wrong. Pretty sure I'm wrong, so I'm not even going to worry about it. So, yeah, this is the grimmest. Even my first playthrough was not this bad. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Take the stimulant. And run in. <laughs> so I need to very much conserve my shots. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, right down. Oh, reload, reload. Broke through some of it. It's rotating. I think that's the only way I have to kill it when it turns around. It turns back around. Holy crap, holy crap, run out of space! <laughs> wow. Ooh, craft some more armor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rely on this. Zero bullets left. 
We made it! We got through the whole game, up there and all, without using the laser gun. Suck on my shorts. Teleglitch. Because fuck yeah, I made it! Oh man, that was freaking tough. That was... I guess I have it figured out now. The final boss has got to wait until it stops rotating. It, it changes its rotation direction, and that's the spot where you have to shoot the crap out of it. I still don't know if that will work. Took only 10 seconds, but... Whoops, something just dropped off from my desk. I don't know if you heard it. Anyway, that was pretty freaking awesome. I am so proud of what just happened. I just got the achievement of the Attention Master. That's right, they actually fixed that. That's pretty neat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Next time we're going to do a full run through the new update in a proper manner. I really just want to play the patch 9.0 without it being in the middle. It was kind of weird. We're going to start out fresh. It's going to be so much fun. But until then, I bid you farewell.